of music. How's it going? Driving the 2023 Cadillac Escalade. Um, so far, all I can say is that this vehicle is uh, is awesome. It drives nice. It is the technology in this thing is crazy. Super Cruise. I drove the Tesla um, Model Y the other day and then tested the um, um, self-driving or auto drive, whatever it's called, self-driving mode, and that was very impressive. The Cadillac Escalade Super Cruise, on the other hand, is is awesome. It is kind of it kind of rivals uh, what the Tesla is doing, um, uh, but I think the caveat to this is that. There are um, some roads that are not mapped. So if you have like new roads, like now driving in Virginia, there are some new roads that they are, that are not mapped on the Super Cruise, so it kind of turns off, but um, the adaptive cruise control still stays on. It doesn't just turn off everything completely, it just turns off Super Cruise, where you know the car wants you to now pay more attention. Um, how you will know whether Super Cruise is on is um, this bar right here, lights up right now i guess this is a new road so it's not mapped on cadillac super cruise so it's not currently on um you can see the technology in this thing you have augmented reality on the dash which is the i guess the the camera that is looking up on the mirror rear view mirror you also have it also turns into a camera and of course you have like this endless screen like if i exit out of uh, ways you can see how huge this screen is it is quite big so this vehicle is is crazy it's crazy so this thing it, it takes turns for you it, when, like when you turn on the um your turn signal it will change lane for you um and when it does that in fact the car actually changes lane also on its own when super cruise is on where if you notice is that the vehicle you're following is driving slow and there's an empty space on there it will change lane for you so this kind of like weirded me out the first time it did it because it will vibrate the driver's seat and then uh, it will flash on there changing lane and when it starts changing lane when it's done you'll say complete so if you don't want it to uh, make that change then you can hit the um the turn signal to kind of like this turn signal stop to cancel it but apart from that it works crazy it's, it's kind of uh, crazy where technology has gone uh, how far we have come in technology these days because you're sitting in a car that practically drives itself you're you know um sitting in the all this luxury leather everywhere i have a, a review of this cadillac this uh cadillac escalade on the channel but it was for the escalade sports this has like basically everything um, I haven't tried the massage seat yet. I'm pretty sure it has it. Um, I didn't see a fridge in this console. The one I reviewed earlier had um, it had a fridge, but it, this one has a huge console down there. It has a heads-up display. It has this huge panoramic sunroof. Um, this is a, I think it's also a seven-seater with the um, captain seats in the middle. So this is what you know you will be looking for if you're looking for uh, a vehicle like this is like the top of the line of course this is not the longest there is an escalate esv which is the standard version but man for what this is it is insane it is insane like it takes uh, some getting used to with all this technology that is inside this car it definitely takes some getting used to um i still don't trust it 100 percent well, I don't think I can ever trust these technologies 100% like to allow a car to drive you on its own and do all that. When I drove the Tesla, I mentioned that all I did was a click home and then it literally brought me home. Um, of course, I was still paying attention with my hand on this on the steering and whatnot. But the way the Super Cruise works is that you don't even have to have your hand on the steering. As long as you're looking forward, um, it will... It, it will know that you are paying attention. Right now, you keep saying Super Cruise um, unavailable because of this weird road that we are on. But all this time, for the past couple of minutes that we've been driving, probably the past uh, half hour or so, it's been literally like driving on its own. 
So this is it's crazy. I just said, let me share this because this is a um, a good place to be in. It is nice. The sound system sounds amazing. All right, cool. super close is back on. Oh, you see that? Oh, you can see that on the steering. Oops, it turned off. <laughs> hey guys, I've been living with this thing for the past couple of days. The 2023 Cadillac Escalade. And I must say, this vehicle is a very big statement. It is huge. I mean, it's a huge vehicle. It is actually not as um, terrible in gas drive as I thought. Even though it's a 6. Point, is it 6 point 2 liter V8, you are still getting I was still getting of about um, 20 miles on distance to the gallon, which is not terrible, you know. It is it's not very efficient, but it's not terrible either. As you can see, I have uh, the car seat fits perfectly fine. Um, the rear. It has a three seater is a three uh seats back there so this is a seven seater um suv i don't really like the captain seats but you know it is what it is this is what this one has um it's quite big it's quite spacious and it's a very very nice and smooth driving suv i don't even know where to start with this thing um Super Cruise is it works nice, but it is not the best thing. Like it can literally leave you hanging, just driving. Um, you can get to a certain highway, and it will be like Super Cruise disconnected because the highway or the road is not um mapped for super cruise or whatever the reason may be unlike the other ones like the other pilot that takes you you know that keeps driving and all that um that keeps working super cruise will stop yesterday when we were coming back um, we were on the highway i guess there was construction on on the road and uh super cruise stopped uh it disconnected and started yelling at me the car literally um slowed down and uh turned on the hazard lights and screamed please take control of the vehicle on all speakers very loud uh, and <laughs> i was very shocked but super cruise will leave you high and dry if it gets to a place where it isn't mapped or, or whatever the case may be but apart from that if you're in a highway that is mapped oh by the way super cruise also does not take exits when you get to an exit it stops working um apart from that it works great when it works um uh you still have your adaptive cruise control you still have uh you know forward collision warning and other stuff um that you can still use but um yeah i think super cruise is either they need to um map more roads and add it to their um uh, uh to their system or i don't know but it works when it's oh it works it works fine uh after that it's just doesn't do it um i think for the uh, yesterday when it locked when it, it stopped working 
at some point he locked me out he said super cruise has been locked out see owners manual uh at this point the only thing that will bring it back is you have to turn the vehicle off completely and uh, when you get back into it then the super cruise will start working again if the road is mapped um let me show you guys it's kind of raining right now but let's see it's a huge vehicle it has a large presence just coming down the road the wheels even look small compared to what this thing is even though this is these are huge wheels on here these are like 22s is it 22s or yeah these are 22 inch wheels but look at how small they look on this thing because this is a huge suv Stepping height, the running board is fixed. <clears throat> and then, I mean, I did mention this augmented reality on here. So, right now, gas mileage is uh, 50 miles because I've been doing a bunch of uh, city drive at, uh, today. Um, so, you know. All they stop and go you know kills your gas mileage but on the highway i was getting about you know 20 miles to the gallon which is not terrible for you know something this huge and something this with a big engine displacement well as you can see there the best i've gotten is uh, 26 miles per gallon so it's not too bad you know it's not too terrible it's a nice it's a nice vehicle it's very 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 livable it's huge one issue that I got was uh, you know parking this thing it is so big that <laughs> it barely fits in any parking spot even though this is not the standard version, this is the regular Escalade. But good luck finding a place to park this thing. You can't drive this thing into DC because you're not going to find this parking spot. But you know, apart from that, it is it's nice. It's a nice vehicle. You should probably have a um, another car that you'll be dealing in. This is good for road trips. It is good for I would take this any day over any you know EV on a long road trip because when you fill this up you know it's at least you know that you're gonna go a long way before you um, run out of gas so yeah that is it for this, this is just a little update on the Cadillac Escalade I have a a full review on this thing but i did not drive it for too long but being able to have this for the past couple of days has given me a new perspective on what this is to actually live with so it is it's not bad it is not um a bad vehicle so if you're looking for something like this uh this is a 2023 i would definitely um if you can afford it, I would definitely suggest getting this. It is nicer than the sister companies like the GNC, uh, the Tahoe, all of those other huge um, SUVs. All right, so like I was saying, it's been um, nice living with this thing for the past couple of days. Um, it's not bad. There's enough room back there for what is that? Five more people. If you get the uh, bench seat, then you have uh, room for you know six people back there. They're gonna be sitting comfortably. So go ahead and check it out, guys. If you're looking for something like this, um, it's definitely a delight to live with. It is a huge car. It takes up it takes up a lot of uh, space and. It's packed with all the technology that you can ever think of. So, stay tuned.
for more updates. I'll see you guys on the next one.